Hey everybody, this is Andrew with a uh, another bike review. It's a beautiful December day here in Spokane, Washington. We've got ideal trail conditions and do I have a treat for myself? Maybe for you too, but I am on a 2018 Evil Reckoning. Um, I mentioned with the Ibis or with the Yeti review that the Fi Fi was one of my top three bikes I've wanted to try. Well, the Reckoning is another top three bike. And I won't mention the top top, but hopefully we'll get to review that bike at a later date and uh, review that. So really excited to try this bike. It's a bike that I've considered purchasing. Um, and everything about it intrigues me. Uh, the downhill prowess of it. Um, if you are familiar with any of Evil's riders, uh, Luke Strobel is a phenomenal rider and he basically takes this thing from just everyday trail switchbacks to full on downhill mode with a dual crown fork. So, um, what makes this bike so cool is it runs a Delta Link suspension system and uh, Dave Weigel designed that suspension system specifically for Evil. Um, essentially it's a single pivot bike but it does have a very intricate linkage system down there um, that uh, activates the travel for the Reckoning. Um, I'm not going to bore you with so many specs and numbers. Um, I'll post some links and everything to uh, give you more information on the science behind it. But um, overall though, um, we haven't really hit anything too steep on the climb, but um, I am open in the shock. And so far it's pedaling okay. I wouldn't say it's a spirited climber, but this does have 161 millimeters of rear travel. So, uh, more about the bike though. Um, Evil typically specs um, not a whole lot of builds. Uh, I believe you can get it in a build. Um, I don't know what that build is, but um, usually um, it's a frame only and you just add your components. I know a few bike building websites that'll let you customize it completely. Um, this bike belongs to Kyle, who is the instructor for Ride Dynamics, which is a uh, bike instruction uh, business that he has. And I'll post a link if you feel like you're lacking in some aspects um, for riding and you need, uh, you know, a consult or tips or lessons. Um, I'll post his information so you can look him up. If you're in the uh, Pacific Northwest area, kind of in that Idaho, Montana, Washington area, uh, look him up. So, so the uh, spec on this bike is pretty top notch. Um, you really couldn't dream up anything better uh, other than maybe a brand preference, but he's got the Fox uh, 36 factory 2018 with the uh, RC2 damper, a Fox Float X2 rear shock, a full uh, SRAM uh, X01 Eagle uh, drivetrain, XT brakes, uh, reverb dropper with the uh, ergonomic lever. Um, I'm running my Crank Brothers pedals. Uh, that's just what I prefer, but it's a uh, Pretty top-notch spec. Noble carbon wheels with uh, some Schwal Schwalbe rubber. Um, it's going to be a good day in these nice tacky conditions. And overall, I think I was expecting worse in terms of its climbing, but um, doesn't feel too bad. Kind of felt like my giant rain a little bit, which wasn't necessarily the best um, or the worst at climbing. It's just so felt a little soft no matter where you had the sag. I would say this is probably a little bit better though than my previous giant rain. All right, so this bike is a size large. Um, I'll post some uh, geometry numbers here. The uh, saddle is about halfway um, on the rails. 
and he's got a 800 millimeter bar um, and it feels pretty long this is a bike that I would probably just jump on the large and not think anything of it I am 61 ish with shoes on um, have a 32 inch inseam and I could not see myself going any bigger and actually if I wanted to cater my bike characteristics to be more nimble or a little bit more playful I may even entertain a medium uh, this bike as it's intended is really for descending and descending faster as indicated by its uh, flip chip settings of low and lower so um, if you focus on descending and just bearing through the climbs to get there um, this is a bike intended for that all right we are getting close to the top so let's summarize our climbing experience um, the feels soft so a little squishy um, I think it feels almost exactly how I was thinking it was going to feel. Um, definitely not as efficient as you know some bikes I've ridden, but I don't think this bike is supposed to be. Um, I wouldn't say it's a bad climber, despite how slack the seat tube feels and looks. Um, the front end hasn't wanted to wander on me. Uh, it, you know, I still have pretty good accuracy in pointing the bike where you want it to go. So, overall, it's not bad. If you like to do a little bit of climbing to get to your descent, this bike will do just fine for that. Alright guys, we just finished the climb. Uh, Kyle and I are getting ready to drop into our test route Pop Rocks to Scared Cat. Um, I do apologize if there's a lot of wind noise. My little wind foam thing fell off somewhere so uh, if it's a little windy i'll try and talk louder um, if not just mute the whole thing so here we go This could be the closest thing. It just soaks up everything. I wouldn't say it's the most active feeling, but it is very plush and very soft. everything up. I would say for descending the size large and the reckoning is perfect. I've got a good amount of width. A little tight through here but I'd probably for myself go to a lower rise bar maybe even flat. See how it does during the flat.
little bobby. Hitting pedals on the ground a little bit. When you put the power down, it definitely compresses the rear a little bit more. Hey everybody, uh, wrapping up the 2018 Evil Reckoning review. I'm doing it in my basement a uh, little workshop today, uh, trying something a little bit different. Uh, let me know what you guys think if you like this versus the outside, uh, you know, near after ride wrap up. Um, so about the bike, it was a really fun bike. I had a blast riding it today. Um, it was every bit as fun as I thought it would be. Um, that being said, here are the good and bads to the bike. Um, goods for me, uh, very stable. Um, I am a very descending focused person, so uh, I definitely will suffer through climbs to earn my descents. And this is the quintessential bike for that. Um, it probably wasn't the easiest climbing bike I've ridden. Um, again, I kind of compared to that older giant rain with that uh, Maestro system. Um, a little bit softer, plusher, um, you know, it doesn't have a whole lot of pedaling platform in there. Um, it doesn't have that kind of sag wallow that Reins or uh, older giant bikes did, but um, it definitely did have some pedal bob in there. Um, so that tunable shock that he had on there, I would definitely recommend and uh, probably play it around with it more to, you know, tune some pedaling efficiency back in there. Um, the size was good, size large. Um, again, I'm just over six foot with shoes on, 32 inch inseam, perfect for me. I wouldn't want to go bigger, uh, would maybe even consider a medium if I wanted a more playful ride. Um, and then the maybe not so good, again, it didn't pedal very well. Um, over flat sprints, it definitely kind of sunk into the mid stroke a little bit, so I was worried about hitting pedals on the ground. Um, you know, Kyle said he's done that actually a few times himself. So, you know, for a race bike, when you're really putting in max effort over those flat sections, uh, be aware of that. Um, the, the seating position, it could be a little bit better maybe, but again, this is maybe a descending focus bike. Um, I didn't think it was too bad, you know, numbers wise, it's actually, they say it's steeper than some other bikes, but again, I'm more of a feel guy. So overall, I had a great experience with this bike. If you have any more questions on it, leave a comment. Um, if you like this format, please let me know, and always please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.